having spoken to his disciples concerning the cross and the glory that will follow, Jesus takes his closest friends, Peter, James, and John, up to the mountain. This is probably Mount Hermon, which is about 9,400 feet high and not far from Caesarea Philippi. There on the mountain, he was transfigured before them, and the disciples see Jesus in his heavenly light. Moses and Elijah is talking with him. Peter wants to put up tents so they can stay and enjoy the moment. The appearance of Moses and Elijah, two great figures of the, his of the history of the Jews, added to the significance of this moment. In my sermon today, we will explore the reason behind Jesus' decision to take only Peter, James, and John to the mountain and what we can learn from it. So the sermon title is The Importance of Being Chosen. Jesus had a group of disciples, 12, and he spent most of his time with them, teaching and preparing them for the future ministry. Among the 12 were Peter, James, and John. These had a special privilege to be Jesus' inner cycle. They witnessed other miraculous events like the healing of Jairus' daughter, the raising of Lazarus from the dead, and Jesus' agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. It is possible that Jesus took these only three disciples to the mountain because he wanted them to deepen their understanding of his mission and to prepare them for the challenges ahead. Another reason why Jesus may have chosen Peter, James, and John was that they have a leadership potential. We know that these disciples played a crucial role in the formation of the early church. Peter became the leader of the apostles and was very instrumental in spreading the gospel to the Jews. James was the first apostle to be martyred for his faith and John became the beloved disciple who wrote several books in our New Testament. By choosing these three disciples, Jesus was preparing them for the future leadership role within the church. The transfiguration was not only a moment of revelation, but also a call to action. The voice from the cloud, listen and pay attention to Jesus' teaching was an example to the disciples. Jesus' ministry was not only about performing miracles or about healing people, but it was also about transforming people's hearts and mind. This encounter was a reminder that Jesus' mission was not about earthly ministry. It was also about eternal ministry. Just as the transfiguration confirmed Jesus' identity and his mission, you too need confirmation of your faith. You may encounter doubt and disbelief and challenges in your life, but it is essential to remember that your faith is grounded in the person of Jesus Christ. You can confirm in the scriptures in the church communities and in your personal experiences with God that faith is very important in your walk with Christ. Like Peter, James and John, you need to deepen your understanding of Jesus' mission and prepare yourself for the challenges that lies ahead in the journey of life. The transfiguration was a significant event in the life of Jesus and his disciples. 
The decision to take only Peter, James, and John to the mountain was deliberate and served a specific purpose. The event revealed Jesus' divine nature, affirmed his continuity with the Jewish tradition, and called his disciples to follow him and listen to him. As you reflect on the transfiguration today, Please be reminded that faith is not only about intellectual knowledge, but also about a personal encounter with Jesus, who transforms our lives and prepares you for the life of service and as a disciple of Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.